So conventional wisdom says that people who have heart rhythm disturbances should avoid caffeinated coffee, and yet observational evidence, which we know is prone to confounding, has suggested that those that consume more caffeinated coffee may actually experience less atrial fibrillation, the most common sustained arrhythmia we encounter. We therefore conducted this randomized trial and found that people with persistent atrial fibrillation scheduled for electrical cardioversion, once they were in sinus rhythm, the group randomly assigned to caffeinated coffee actually experienced a lower risk of atrial fibrillation compared to those randomly assigned to avoiding coffee and caffeine. So there are a few caveats to this study that I think are important to bear in mind. Number one is the nature of the selection of these particular patients. Keep in mind, these were people who enjoyed consuming caffeinated coffee and didn't have a problem with it. They didn't necessarily have to be doing so the day of randomization, but sometime in the past five years. Therefore, it's possible there are still some people out there who really do have atrial fibrillation caused or induced by a caffeine that just wouldn't have been enrolled. Secondly, it's important not to assume this means that caffeinated coffee is completely safe in all uh, abnormal heart rhythms or that it suppresses all uh, arrhythmias. Finally, it's very important not to extrapolate these findings to other products that have caffeine, such as energy drinks. This study was quite specific to caffeine occurring in a naturally occurring substance, and that is specifically coffee. And it's very possible that some of the beneficial effects were more related to the coffee rather than the caffeine itself. So we hope that this study might open the door to future research because whereas I don't believe that this study by itself provides sufficient evidence to support the idea of initiating caffeine or even encouraging it, I think that this is preliminary data that might support studies to investigate uh, such questions in the future.